Hi everyone, my name is Cecilia Hillway, and I like combining art and technology. Today I will be talking about how you can use the new Makeybit Adventure Board to make some spooky Halloween projects. For these projects I chose to use the Microbit microcontroller with the Makeybit. The Makeybit is such a fun looking board from the beginning that I was very inspired to transform it into different Halloween characters. Using a template I created of the Microbit, I drew monster costumes for it to wear and color them on the computer. The costumes can be made or uh, printed on paper and placed on the Makeybit behind the microcontroller. If you're using something thicker, like cardboard, it's better to leave a hole for the microbit. Once the microbit has its costumes, you're ready to make projects with it. For the first project I made, the microbit is wearing a mummy costume, so I decided to make it come out of its sarcophagus and come to life. I used the packaging box that the microbit comes in as a sarcophagus. I added a drawing of a um, sarcophagus and then I added two micro servos. Here I am plugging them in to show you how they work. One of the micro servos opens up the box and the other one raises the mummy from the box. So I press the button and I have a built in delay so I can put the mummy where it goes and close the lid but here you see how it will open the lid and raise the mummy. Here's a closer look at the mechanisms as you can see I have the the two servos they go up and down one is on the side so it will allow me to close the lid of the sarcophagus as much as possible. Here you can see the raising and lowering by adding some props like tea lights that are dressed up to make them look like lit torches, I can give the Make It Vid project some ambience at, for the video that I took. Here's him popping out, but and here's the, the final video. The second project is the creation of Frankenstein's monster. It is inspired by the scene in the classic movie where the monster comes to life. I wanted to integrate several things in my project, like the crazy knife switch that screams mad scientist, and a pulley system that helps the, the gurney where the monster is lying to go up and down. Once the switch is activated, a continuous rotation servo raises the, the gurney up to the ceiling where there's going to be the NeoPixel strip that is going to simulate the light, lightning for a while. The lightning is what brings the monster to life. Once the lightning show is done, the gurney is lowered. And at the very end, the monster comes to life by lighting his eyes up and the, the heart starts beating. Alive! It's alive! This is project number three. I decided to make the, the Makey Bit into a bat. So the bat hangs upside down in different locations. You can see I mounted his wings with two different micro servos. One is mounted from behind and the other one was mounted from, from the front. That gives the wings a slightly different height. So when he gets activated, which I'm gonna turn on. So when he's activated, his, no, uh, his wings open up and he makes a sound and his eyes light up. 
you can see the, the light that is um, microbit version 2 that light um, tells you it's actively listening to the volume of the, the voice which right now I guess is, it considers it pretty loud you can change the settings in the code to make it more or less sensitive to the sound make it is mounted using twist ties that go through the holes and keep the make it in place now he he has a third twist tie by his feet and this is what allows me to mount him in different locations Three different creepy projects that you can make with the make of it. In the description below, we'll have links to the templates and the code I used. If you want to recreate these projects, please share your creations online with the hashtag #makeitbit. Thank you.